that stands before you today and awakens it and awakens say, as the claim is a claim of, free, of freedom. I am free of what I've caught. I am free of what I have thought has bound me. The old has bound me to the old. I am free of your negotiations. I am free of the old negotiations that I've utilized, that I have utilized to manage my reality, to manage my reality. I am free of the liberation. I am free of the deliberation of whether or not I'm worthy of money, of whether or not I am worthy of the divine. Each of you before us today, each of you before us today has not a great opportunity, has not only great opportunity, but great promise, but great promise. And the promise we offer today, and the promise we offer you today is that as you release the idea of self, is that as you release the idea of self based upon prior circumstance, based upon prior circumstance, prior idealization, prior idealization, you become who you are, you become who you are and have always been and have always been. Now the boundless of the eternal self, now the boundlessness of the eternal self, of the eternal self may now be understood, may now be understood as a comprehension run, as a comprehension of the divine as manifest, as manifest, manifest, and manifest, manifest, manifest and, and unmanifest, if you choose that, if you choose that, but the idea of source, but the idea of source is permeating all manifestations as permeating all manifestation can be understood can be understood as boundless expression as boundless expression the small self that you realized the small self that you have utilized to navigate a reality to navigate a reality with its own judgments with its own judgments preconceptions preconceptions ideologies ideologies and attachments and attachments to what should be to what should be have in most ways precluded this have in most ways precluded this awareness awareness of balance of identity of the boundlessness of identity of identity is actually present for you that is actually present for you what does that mean he asks what does that mean? He asks. Boundless of identity, boundlessness of identity. Now, while you may know yourself, now while you may know yourself as the body you're in, as the body you are in, or as the expression, or as the expression of the body segment that the body has taken, and the energy field and the energetic field that you utilize, that you utilize to claim identity through, to claim identity through. You are much beyond that. You are much beyond that. You are as the star. You are as the star, as the sun, as the sun, as the earth, as the earth earth as all things as all things because all things are of source because all things are of source you're not different and you are not differentiated from that at the level of conscious of consciousness we're talking you to that we are instructing you to the awareness of union the awareness of union the agreement to union the agreement to union is dismiss body does not dismiss the body or the identity or the identity is the inclusive of source it is simply inclusive of source as all these things as all these things to comprehend boundlessness to comprehend boundlessness is to release the need is to release the need to self-identify through trauma, to self-identify through trauma, through pain, through pain, through argument, through argument, through duality, through duality. Now the idea of duality is much confused. Now the idea of duality is much confused, whereas there is light and dark, whereas there is light and dark, or you may call it good and evil, or you may call it good and evil. In fact, all these things, in fact, all these things exist in a spectrum, exist in a spectrum that is non-dualistic, that is non-dualistic. They are the shadows. They are the shadows of what stands the way of what stands in the way of the divine, and very little more than that, and very little more than that, but even the shadow is of light, but even the shadow is of light. Even your idea of darkness, even your idea of darkness is of light. Light because the idea of darkness, because the idea of darkness cannot exist, cannot exist without the light. When you understand who and what you are, when you understand who and what you are, I am the divine as form. I am the divine as form. I am the divine as come through me. I am the divine as come through me and through all things. And through all things, underline all, underline all, you move to recognition. You move to recognition that union is present, that union is present, even as denied even as denied understand that friends understand that friends even as right even as denied quite simply means quite simply means that source is present that source is present with and without with and without your agreement to it your agreement to it but your realization of source but your realization of source in most ways in most ways is predicated on your alignment is predicated upon your alignment to the identity 
to the identity that knows itself, even that knows itself in you. You know, platitudes will not work here. Now, platitudes will not work here. We're not going to give you a message. We are not going to give you a message. You can hang on your wall. You can hang on your wall. We are going to give you an experience. We are going to give you an experience of being of being that actually claims you, that actually claims you beyond the old, beyond the old. And the choices the old has made, and the choices that the old has made, perhaps benefited from perhaps benefited from, but to understand the self as beyond challenge. But to understand the self as beyond challenge, which is your idea of challenge, which is simply your idea of challenge, is to, to comprehend, is to begin to comprehend that all things seen, that all things seen must be an equation, must be an equation, which is a level of accord, which is a level of accord with an agreement to the divine, with an agreement to the divine, or perhaps the denial of it, or perhaps the denial of it, both of those claims, both of those claims, agreement to and not agreement to, and denial of claim identity, claim identity, accord, accord, and source, and source, even the denial of source, even the denial of source is the argument, is the acknowledgement of source in a denied state in a denied state. So if you say, so if you say you can't know the light without the darkness, you can't know the light without the darkness, you also cannot know the darkness, you also cannot know the darkness without the light without the light because they are of the same source, because they are of the same source, simply operating gradation, simply operating in gradation, or vibrational tone, or vibrational tone. We'll not make the darkness wrong. We will not make the darkness wrong. We will not make your darkness wrong. We will not make your darkness wrong. We will lift your light, but we will lift you with the lights and become permeable so that you may become permeable to it. Understand what that means? Understand what that means, permeable to it permeable to it. You may become the light. You may become the light as a permeable membrane, as a permeable membrane, a permeable being, a permeable being that is the light, that is the light, carries light, carries the light, holds the holds the light and transmits it and transmits it because it knows itself as an accord with light, because it knows itself as in accord with light. The vibration you hold today, the vibration you hold today is sufficient for this class, is sufficient for this class and this instruction and this instruction to be agreed to, to be agreed to, at whatever we come to, at whatever level you have come to, whatever ideas you may hold about who you are, whatever ideas you might hold about who you are, you are not outside of source, you are not outside of source. You believe yourselves to be, you believe yourselves to be in your challenges, in your challenges, in your crucibles, in your crucibles, in the laws you've created and abide by, and the laws you have created and abide by, or denounce, or denounce and refute and refute. You're all participatory. You are all participatory to whatever level of, to whatever level of experience you have aligned to, you have aligned to, and consequently, and consequently, you may be agreed to, you may be agreed to as of source. That is the key. That is the key. As of source. None of you is without this. None of you is without this. All that stands in the way of realization all that stands in the way of realization is your, the old, is your agreement to the old and the abiding in the old and the abiding in the old which you claim which you claim through expectation through expectation what does that mean he asks what does that mean he asks whether you expect to see yesterday's food in the refrigerator well you expect to see yesterday's food in the refrigerator you expect, to you expect your neighbor to be as she was your children to your them your children to treat you as they have you expect the job you went to yesterday you expect the job you went to yesterday to be there tomorrow to be there tomorrow and you expect the world is even on it and you expect the world as you've known it to benefit you to benefit you in the ways that it has or not benefited you or not benefited you in the ways that you experienced it in the ways that you have experienced your expectations your expectations call into manifestation what you see what you see or in accord to or in accord to now you can understand now you can understand that every illustration we gave you but every illustration we gave you was something that could be transient was something that could be transient your child may not treat you as they did yesterday your child may not treat you as they did yesterday they're going to be empty tomorrow the refrigerator may be empty tomorrow the job may not be there the job may not be there you're always balancing and you are always balancing your idea of the unknown your idea of 
the unknown with the expectations you've utilized, with the expectations you have utilized to claim dominion as a being, as a being. But if we were to tell you, but if we were to tell you that the monad, that the monad, which is the creation of source, which is the creation of source, as you seeks its expression, seeks its expression as you and through you to be participatory, to be participatory to itself as all that is, as all that is, you would become confounded, you would become confounded. The first thing you must understand. The first thing that you must understand that the monad expresses already is that the monad expresses already, even in its dormant state, even in its dormant state, in the energy field, in the energetic field you hold, the body you hold, in the body you have aligned to, you have aligned to, the monad is also expressed. The monad is also expressed, what we call the upper room, in what we call the upper room, because that is its purview, because that is its purview, or its level of donation, or its level of donation of intolerance. Nature or vibration order or vibration liqueur. It's what we've been doing with you. So, what we have been doing with you is creating the opportunity, is creating the opportunity for the form you've taken, for the form you have taken, the identity, the identity you have held, the energetic bodies you utilized, the energetic bodies you utilized to be renowned, to be renowned in what we call the upper in what we call the upper rooms of the light you truly are. So that the light that you truly are may be demonstrated as you may be demonstrated as you and the light as you and the light as you is in consequence is in consequence and coherence and coherence with the light in all the things with the light in all other things and the rhapsody and the rhapsody that one experiences that one experiences at this level of agreement at this level of agreement or vibration or vibrational accord must be experienced must be experienced to be comprehended to be comprehended now each text we've written through Paul now, each text we have written through Paul has been a call to a higher level of mind, has been a call to a higher level of aliveness, the body itself can hold it, as the body itself can hold us, the consciousness you've held, as the consciousness you have held can become acclimated, can become acclimated, where we intend to take our students next, where we intend to take our students next in the next text we write. And the next text we write is to realization, is to realization of the monad, of the monad, or the Christ principle, or the Christ principle as manifest which means as which means as form and form and field and form and field at that level of tone at that level of tone create a new world create a new world in some ways the light of the world in some ways the light of the world which is present in you which is present in each of you is seeking to express is seeking to express at the cost of the old at the cost of the old we began this teaching tonight and when we began this teaching tonight we spoke of reality of ourselves we we spoke of re-identifying the cells outside of the old, outside of the old, or the determination, or the determination, what was yesterday, that what was yesterday must be tomorrow, must be tomorrow, the unknown that you don't understand, the unknown that you don't understand and often seek to avoid, and often seek to avoid is where the great promise is held, is where the great promise is held. You will not know God. You will not know God by reading a book, by reading a book. You will not know God. You will not know God by negotiating the physical reality, by negotiating the physical reality, but you will know God, but you will know God as experience, as experience when you align as God, when you align as God. Now, this is a challenging statement for Paul to hear. Now, this is a challenging statement for Paul to hear because like most of you, because like most of you, he hears these teachings. He hears these teachings through the idea of the, through the, idea of the egoic structure, of the egoic structure, the self that would seek to be God, or the self that would seek to be God. That is not what we teach. That is not what we teach. We don't deify the person now, but in structure. We don't deify the person now, but in structure. The person has reclaimed. The person now, but in structure is claimed in an entrainment in and in train with the high octave, with the high octave, which is where the monad expresses, which is where the monad expresses to understand that all things must be of God, to understand that all things must be of God, or nothing can be, or nothing can be, would quite be simple, would quite simply be the key to the kingdom, the key to the kingdom, and the kingdom as we often teach it, and the kingdom as we often teach it, is the awareness of the inherent divine as all matters manifestation. You may say in if you wish. You may say in if you wish, but as simply means the consequence of, simply means the consequence of expression form that is taken 
form that is taken is as God at this level, at this level of tone or articulation or articulation, rearticulation, rearticulation or re-resonance or re-resonance or recalibration or recalibration or resurrection or resurrection are all the same ideas are all the same ideas the body that you hold that the body that you hold which is not outside of god which is not outside of god must be claimed at the level of resonance must be claimed at the level of resonance or tonal identity or tonal identity or new experience where you may begin to experience the inherent divine the inherent divine that is form as all things as all things the idea of self the idea of self as separate while utilized in some ways while utilized in some ways that are productive or required or required while you maintain a body while you maintain a body are also differentiating you are also differentiating you at levels are not conductive at levels that are not conductive conductive conducive conducive or supportive or supportive of higher realization we must move you beyond those claims so we must move you beyond those claims to a reintegration to a reintegration of the idea of the idea that you are of the whole that you are of the whole your neighbor is of the whole your neighbor is of the whole that army is of the whole that army is of the whole as is the army fighting them as is the army fighting them your ideas your ideas of separation of separation are so entrenched are so entrenched that would prefer to see a massacre that you would prefer to see a massacre of the ones you've deemed wrong of the ones you have deemed wrong and then understand that the dance were occurring that then understand that the dance that you are incurring through experience True experience is the opportunity for union, is the opportunity for union in any realization. And any realization of separation of separation can be and must be and must be the new idea, the new idea that union express, that union can express, just as you can understand the light, just as you can't understand the light without some comprehension of darkness, without some comprehension of darkness, you will not understand peace. You you will not understand peace until you understand it, until you understand the complete futility, the complete futility of war, except as a way, except as a way to comprehend peace. Paul interrupts the teaching. Paul interrupts the teaching. In the past, you have said, in the past, you have said that if our idea of peace, that if our idea of peace is the secession of war, is the secession of war, we are predicating peace upon war. We are predicating peace upon war, and that will not be the case, and that will not be the case. Is that still true? Is that still true? Peace expresses Peace expresses in the upper room because the upper room is not the dominion of fear, is not the dominion of fear. War is a creation of fear. War is a creation of fear. Many of the challenges you claim, many of the challenges you claim with your brothers and sisters, with your brothers and sisters, with your neighbors, with your neighbors, neighbors, with cultures other than yours, with cultures other than yours are all wars are all wars based on a simple misconception, based in a simple misconception that God cannot be where the other is, that God cannot be where the other is, because God must want, because God must want what you want, or it would not be your God, or it would not be your God. If you hear that phrase, if you hear that phrase, you will understand the stupidity of it. You will understand the stupidity of it. If it's not what I want, if it's not what I want, God could not want it either. The idea of God, the idea idea of gender as the idea of God as generative consciousness or a creator or as a creator that works in tandem with you that works in tandem with you has become misaligned has become misaligned to a preconception to a preconception that God should be on your side that God should be on your side and opposed to the one you don't like and opposed to the one you don't like and you claimed religions and you have claimed religions in this very way in this very way that kind of award of the death that can and will war to the death, you must understand. You must understand that ideologies, that ideologies, while useful, while useful, are all limited, are all limited because they're all born in that belief, because they are all born in a belief in the permanence of separation, 
and the permanence of separation. Every religion mankind knows now. Every religion mankind knows now. Humankind knows now. Humankind knows now. It was based in a false supposition. Is based in a false supposition that you must be saved, that you must be saved or rendered new or rendered new from an old idea, from an old idea. While well, this is quite true at one level of vibration, while well, this is quite true at one level of vibration, which is why we teach salvation, which is why we teach salvation or redemption or redemption as monad as monad most of those constructs most of those constructs enable the idea enable the idea of separation as a dominion as a dominion of the true self of the true self and that could never be true and that could never be true because there is no separation because there is no separation at the level of monad at the level of the monad or the christ king or the christ king if you wish to call it that if you wish to call it that. Now to return to the oldest teaching we've ever given Paul. Now return to return to the oldest teaching we have ever given Paul. Freedom comes. Freedom comes when the throne relinquishes when the throne relinquishes its king, queen if you wish that word. Queen, if you wish that word, quite simply means quite simply means that you've decided that you have decided the egoic structure that the egoic structure must inherit the throne and you've made the ego god and you have made the ego god and you create crucibles and you have created crucibles in support of this in support of this wars in support of this wars in support of this because wars are wars are generally because wars are wars are generally out picturings of greed it's based on like there which is based upon the idea of lack which is the claim of freedom, which is the claim of separation when freedom releases from when freedom releases its throne when the idea of freedom when the idea of freedom in a higher way in a higher way can claim the throne can claim the throne the world you see is altered the world you see is altered. What did that mean? Freedom releases upon your throne. What does that mean? Freedom releases its throne. You said, you said, we will explain it, Paul. We will explain it, Paul. Your idea of freedom, your idea of freedom, so more than personality structure, so more than personality structure means you think anywhere, means that you think that getting your way is true freedom is true freedom true freedom true freedom is knowing who you are is knowing who you are in tandem with the whole in tandem with the whole we're not operating in fear where you are not operating in fear or deprivation or deprivation or claiming identity or claiming identity in separation in separation as a requirement of being, as a requirement of being to understand the scale of gradation to understand the scale of gradation might be helpful here, might be helpful here, if you can imagine the darkest room possible. If you can imagine the darkest room possible and the lightest room possible, at the lightest room possible, all its gradations of the same source, all its gradations of the same source, the light may filter into the darkness, the light may filter into the darkness, the darkness may claim the light, the darkness may claim the light, if it is empowered to, if it is empowered to, to realize the light, to realize the light where the darkness where the darkness has been is to bring the light is to bring the light now the darkness will never claim the light now the darkness will never claim the light because it cannot because it cannot but even granted will but you have been granted free will you may choose as you wish you may choose as you wish and each time you claim in fear and each time you claim in fear you are claiming separation you are claiming separation empowering that darkness and empowering that darkness the action of fear the the action of fear again and again we say again and again we say is to claim more fear is to claim more fear if you don't want challenge if you don't want challenge you will not have growth you will not have growth but you may meet challenge but you may meet challenge with light or with a light that you're noble to claim with the light that you are in noble to claim and claim each experience and claim each experience even separation even separation as the opportunity for union as the opportunity for union we will sing to you now we will sing to you now in a new key in a new key what does that mean he asks 
What does that mean? He asked when we tone through now, Paul. When we tone through now, Paul, we are going to create a sound. We are going to create a sound that will reclaim all who hear these words, that will reclaim all who hear these words, level of resonance, at a level of resonance that will dismantle a structure, that will dismantle a structure, which is the decree of separation, which is the decree of separation. I cannot be the light I am. I cannot be the light I am. I will not be the light I am. I will not be the light I am. I am and I will never know the light and I will never know the light. The song that we sing now, the song that we sing now, a claim of truth, a claim of truth, a claim of true freedom, a claim of true freedom will recreate, will recreate the idea of the mortar, the idea of the mortar that has bound the wall of separation, that has bound the wall of separation, as you can align to it. And as you can align to it, that wall of separation, that wall of separation will dismantle will dismantle by brick, brick by brick, stone by stone, or stone by stone, if you prefer to may comprehend who you are, so that you may comprehend who you are experientially, experientially, without it binding you, without it binding you to the lower field, to the lower field, or the claim of fear, or the claim of fear that announces itself as separate, that announces itself as separate. Wouldn't right, you say these words first? We will invite you to say these words first on this day I claim, on this day I claim that I'm going to release, that I am willing to release my need, my need to know myself, to know myself through separation, to create a world, to create a world in separation, to deny my birthright, and to deny my birthright, the light that I am, the light that I am, its expression, its expression on this day I claim, on this day I claim the willingness to withstand, the willingness to withstand the changes I incur, the changes I incur as I release the need, as I release the need to replicate the old, to replicate the old as I have chosen, as I have chosen to learn through it and receive instead, and receive instead my agreement my agreement to operate as union, to operate as union, as the expression of God, as the expression of God, but I can only be truth, that I can only be in truth. I know I'm truth. I know who I am in truth. I know, truth. I know what I am in truth. I know, I'm truth. I know how I serve in truth. I am free, I'm free, I'm free. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am in the upper room. I am in the upper room. Behold, I have made, behold, I make all things new. I have come. 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 On the count of three, Paul, you may join the sound as you wish. You may join the sound as you wish. Now one, now two, <clears throat> now three. Ah! We thank you for your presence. We'll return in five minutes. Your questions, wish your questions as you wish. We'd like a few moments at the end of the class. We would like a few moments at the end of this class. We discuss what expect to discuss what you might expect as agreement has been made. As agreement has been made. Period. 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 Stop now, please. several things to say. We have several things to say. The identities they've held, the identities they've held while useful for navigating a shared culture, while useful for navigating a shared culture, culture or environment or environment are also limited. 
are all so limited. We're moving beyond that limitation. We are moving beyond that limitation expansive to a sense of expansiveness where you may know the tree, where you may know the tree as of God, as of God, know the hand you hold and know the hand you hold as of God, as of God, know the people before you, know the people before you as of God, as of God, without predetermining what those things should be, without predetermining what those things should be. Predetermining is entering in. Predetermining is essential to understand. You're navigating a field. You are now Navigating a field of shared identity, of shared identity, born in language, born in language, or the agreement to what things should mean, or the agreement to what things should mean. This is necessary while you hold the body. This is necessary while you hold the body, but you can bypass in some ways, but you can bypass in some ways the level of vibration, the level of vibration that demands things to be with her, that demands things to be what they were by becoming inclusive with it, by becoming inclusive with it. This is of God. This is of God. Now the claim God is, God is, God is. Now the claim God is, God is, God is. Now chemical claim indeed, and now chemical claim indeed will support you in this will support you in this but the dismantling was done tonight but the dismantling that was done tonight we called it the mortar we called it the mortar what was between the bricks or what was between the bricks must be understood must be understood as only leaving as only leaving as you can manage change as you can manage change imagine one brick coming out of a wall imagine one brick coming out of a wall the light will feel severe the light will feel severe until your light arrives until your eyes become accustomed to it when you understand that many bricks can go when you understand that many bricks can go and you will acclimate more and more and you will acclimate more and more understand you're safe understanding that you are safe without the wall of separation without the wall of separation you've been indoctrinated by that you have been indoctrinated by we thank you each for your presence tonight we thank you each for your presence tonight you'll be work with this week you will be work with this week in our way in our way we will say this for paul and we will say this for paul it is we that work it is we that work he is not fixing anybody he is not fixing anybody so please don't look to his field so please don't look to his field for this to happen for this to happen trust god trust god allow us to meet you in the field you know allow us to meet you in the field you know and be received as you can be held and be received as you can be held thank you each for good night thank you each for your present and presence and good night